Let's get ready. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode on AP2 Square. Guys, let's have a look over here. I want to show you this. You see that? If you've been around, you will notice that we're almost reaching 500 subscribers. You guys are crazy. Last episode was crazy. And it's all thanks to you guys. Thank you. I could not stress how much thankful I have been for the past few days. You guys have been amazing killing it with a subscribe. Please, if you're watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting? Yes, I'm counting with all of your guys' support to keep bringing art and passion and putting together and make something inspiring for your art journey and mine as well. This is Abel here. Today, we're going to start off with a fresh brand new how-to episode. But before we get there, I wanna test with you guys what it would be like to drink water from a bottle that cost me 20 bucks, roughly, to one that cost me around 100 bucks. Right here. Let's try that. Mm. Well, I guess we'll never find out because I didn't buy any water bottle that cost me a hundred bucks. You guys crazy? All right, guys, let's start off with this new episode. I'm going to be explaining my art process to establish colors in a very basic way from zero to the final rendering. First off, I need to explain you what goes behind my art process so that you get um, some ideas of creative juice flowing, the vibes. How do I get the vibes? This is gonna be a concept that we're gonna be talking about all throughout this video. So don't forget the vibes. So what do we have to do first? First, you know me, I like to pull out my Pinterest. I, I specifically wrote uh, Stingray because to celebrate my almost 500 subscribers, I wanted to make something, you know, entertaining and challenging. So I wanted to draw one of my original characters underwater, playing around with some Stingrays. So I came on Pinterest, looked for some reference. Once I grab a couple of reference, roughly maybe five, four, I don't know, it doesn't really matter as long as you know that you have all the angles that you need to get the vibe, okay? So once you get that, we go onto our canvas and we start working. And because this is a basic how-to, we're going to use the Stingray as the example for me to build the basic color process. So it's not going to be overwhelming. And I hope this encourage, encourages you to explore and dare to try this out at home. Okay, so come on, let's get ready. Let's get to it. Okay, so I wanted to draw Nami uh, underwater. And I wanted her to be playing around with stingrays. So first I'm going to work creating the sketch lines. And you will see me, as always, trying to start off from the face just to grasp the personality. And then we'll move on to the rest of the body. Always try to look on your scaling. So for me, the challenge here was to get a, a good sense of dimension between the other elements in the scene with the main character and see how they kind of like complement each other in a composition. This is one of the vibe things that I try to aim for to get a good complement between all the different elements that I'm putting in a picture. Okay, so if you're a little bit lost on creating your establishing sketches, I might recommend you to go back and look some of my how to basic sketch that will give you a pretty good foundation. <sighs> oh, yeah, uh, that's a lot of talking, but hey, it's necessary. Um, so going back to our main focus of the day, 
if you're looking at the pictures that I'm showing you, you will notice that a lot of the color grading of the stingrays has to do with the environment. So we're going to do that first. And this is great idea because if you establish the color foundation of the environment first, then you feel like whatever you throw in there has to match that vibrance. And this is the other concept of filling the vibes. So once that it's out of the way, I am going to lay a very specific color palette on each of the elements or animals or creatures or characters that I have on my art piece. Okay, so all that it's done and I'll begin to separate all the colors from the different environments or whatnot, but that is for another episode. We're going to focus just on the stingrays. So let's just run, jump right into the stingray part. For the purpose of this process, I'm going to remove the character's basic colors and I'm just going to leave you with the background and the left side of the stingrays because we're going to work on the right side of the stingrays to, ex to better explain to you guys what is the process. So first of all, we're going to make a selection around the contour of the sketch lines that I've created for the stingray. We're going to be very quick about it. And we're going to pick a color and drop that color to that selection. Okay. Like so, after you've done this part of the process, you will left off with something like this. We want to work from rough to polish. What I did to achieve this is basically I took a layer of curve and I placed three dots and I attached that layered to my stingray and I start playing around with it to get color variations from it. A good way of approaching your color process from rough to more polish is to put your canvas as far from your eyesight as you can. That way you can start just working on what looks from a distance uh the type of character animal or subject that you're trying to you know project to your audience so i'm going to do that and my aim here is to work the subtle details that will ultimately make my creature look like a like a stingray if you feel a little bit lost about that all you need to do is look at your references and work from that point moving forward once you've worked a little bit with that you will end up with something like like this this is one of this is part of the process that i use to feel the vibe of what finally is going to be the color combination that i'm going to be playing around with for the subject that i am at that moment trying to you know do the process of rough to uh, polish. Now, this doesn't mean that it's going to be an easy ride. Sometimes the colors, you need to work with it. And, you know, all you have to do is just put a, a layer on top and just work with the colors that you're feeling at that moment, the vibe that you're feeling at that moment. Guys, I hope this allow you to push your process of laying your foundation for your color process on a much better organized way. The idea here is that you start from a very organized structure and you start building from there to a more polished uh, definition. So don't forget that one of the things that we should try to achieve is anyone who is looking at your RPs 
can be able to distinguish what kind of subject you're presenting from afar. And if you accomplish that on your first stage of your color foundation, then you can, like I'm doing now, move on to, you know, make more details of your character, always trying to have an outside or far perspective of what you're doing so that you don't get lost in making too many details. Just putting enough strokes here and there just to give the vibe that, you know, it looks as what you really want to project. And in this case, I'm looking to project a stingray. So I'm just like working slowly and coming back from one stingray to the other and so on and so forth until we get the desired result. Let's see what all this process of feeling the vibes for our color process will ultimately look like. So here is the final result of our art piece celebrating our almost 500 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. If you enjoy this episode, please leave some comment down below. If you would like to see some other how to basic uh, teaching, please leave a comment down below and let's enjoy our final RPs. As I am saying, see you on the next adventure guys. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Now, if you're looking to follow more of this content, don't hesitate on click on that subscribe button, hit that bell notification for the next episode and follow me on the other social media. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun on the next adventure and stay curious, my friends.